and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just gonna do like a really simple, like get ready with me. I'm basically just applying my makeup um, how I normally would be lately because I actually really like the combination of products I've been using. So I thought I'd film a video on it. So the primer I've been using more recently is the Revolution Glass Liquid Skin Illuminating Skin Primer. Um, and I just find that it just like makes my makeup go on really nicely and it like hydrates my skin because it can get a bit dry um, as well as oily. Like I definitely think I've got combination skin, but um, yeah, I just find that this one works really well with my makeup at the moment. So I normally just put three drops on. I like to use quite a lot because I kind of want it to be quite tacky. Oops, not that much, but um, I kind of like it to be a bit tacky when I apply my foundation. Okay, so now that that's pressed in, um, the foundation that I've been using more recently is the Benefit like original Hello Happy one, and I've got this in shade two. I do find that this one actually really oxidizes quite bad, but um, I kind of quite like a darker color on my face at the minute, just because it makes me look a bit more healthy, because as you can see, I am quite pale. Um, but I do quite like this. It's like a very nice, like, thin foundation like it's not too thick which I quite like at the minute and then I just put that directly onto the sponge and pop it on my face So yeah, as you can see, it is quite a warm toned foundation, um, but I don't think it looks that bad. I might be wrong, but on camera, it does look a little bit more orange than it does in real life. Um, yeah, so hopefully I haven't been like going around looking orange, but um, I think it looks okay. And then next I go in with my Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Concealer. Um, I really like this concealer, but I don't know why, but the, um, like around the lid, it's gone like super gross and I'm obviously, that's not focusing, but I'm obviously not a big fan of that because now everything in my makeup bag is just disgusting. And this makeup bag is relatively new as well. So that's a bit disappointing, but I normally, I don't like to have it too thick under my eyes. So I normally just put a bit like away from my under eye and then like blend it more towards like closer to my under eye because um, if I put too much like directly under my eye, it goes quite creased and that's not what I want because I haven't been using powder lately because I find that powder just like dries out my skin too much. So I use as little under my eyes and in areas that will crease as possible just because I don't want it to crease. Okay, so concealer's all blended. Um, I mainly use concealer just to try and like cover up my dark circles, but as you can see, it's not like that side, obviously, because the natural light's coming in on that side. But um, yeah, it doesn't, like obviously it was not gonna totally cover my dark circles and I have looked into it and there's nothing, like my dark circles aren't even sleep related because I literally had like 10 hours of sleep last night because obviously like I don't have to go to work at the minute. Um, so there are like it's basically just like skin like color i was gonna say staining but like <laughs> that's like what dogs have so um i didn't want to call it that but yeah it's literally just like my skin pigmentation and there's nothing i can do about it which is quite annoying because when i haven't got makeup on that's kind of like the main thing that stands out is my dark circles because generally i'm quite lucky to not have any like spots or anything um but yeah so the concealer hasn't totally covered my dark circles but um like it's covered everything else, which is good. So instead of going in with a powder bronzer, which I would normally do, I've been using this, what is it? Revolution Matte Base Concealer, but obviously I've got it in like a darker shade because with this foundation, because it's like a warmer toned one, um, I find that this blends in really nicely with it. So I usually just go in where I would like bronze and then blend it with a brush. And I find that like, it's quite nice and natural because 
if I use a powder, it kind of also dries out my skin and, oops. oh, for God's sake, I've just gouged a piece out of that. Because I find if I use a powder, um, like again, it dries it up. And I also want this makeup to look a bit more glowy recently because you can really tell when I've put powder on my face because it just looks, it just looks dry. It literally just looks dry. So I'm just gonna apply this. So that's all blended in and I think it looks quite natural. Um, it does look quite orange there. I don't want the um, bronzer to stand out too much because obviously then it looks a bit like, a bit trashy. Um, but I think that looks okay. I think it's blended in really nicely. Um, but yeah, that stick was actually only three pounds. Um, and obviously it's supposed to be concealer stick, but you can use it for whatever you like really. And I really rate that one for three pounds. And then next I've got another really old um, Benefit product. It's kind of like rubbed off. You can barely see what it says, but um, this is their lip and cheek tint. And I've had this for probably longer than I'd like to admit. You shouldn't really keep products this long, but um, I haven't had a reaction to it so far. So hopefully it's fine. But I find, obviously I'm trying to go for like the glowy look. So I find that having a liquid um, blush also really helps with that. And a liquid highlighter, which I have just ordered actually. I'm hoping to do a video next week on like a load of the new Revolution products because they've just launched um, like I think a CC cream and a range of like quad eyeshadow palettes. Um, so I've just spent 40 pounds on Revolution <laughs> to, um, test some of those products because they look really nice and I'm not really going to be spending my money on much else so I thought why not I'm not going to be going out eating which is normally where my money goes so I thought I'd splash some cash on some new revolution launches which I'm quite excited about so I literally I do one cheek at a time because this stain does um oh shit that was quite a lot because this stain does dry down quite quickly so you've got to work quite quick with it but I literally just like kind of blend it out with my finger and then that ends up hopefully looking quite natural. So that's all blended. Um, it's very it's very subtle, which I quite like. Um, so next I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm kind of doing this in a bit of a random order. Like since I've started doing my makeup in a different way, I don't really have an order to it other than obviously doing the base first. Um, but I am going to crack on with my eyebrows, which I always use the NYX Micro Brow Pencil and I love this. I've been using it for years um, and I find that it's a really good dupe for the Benefit, um, whatever the Benefit one's called. The only difference I find that this one is 9.50 for the full size one and I think the Benefit one is like 22, which is quite, is really expensive for a brow product. So I'm gonna just really quickly and lightly fill in my brows. Okay, if you can hear that noise, um, apologies. Obviously my neighbor has decided to repeatedly kick a ball as soon as I've started filming, so that's great. Um, but I just done my eyebrows and then I go in, I'm just trying to remember what I do. Um, then I go in with highlighter, which I do use quite a lot of, but I find that this highlighter is quite subtle. And I'm using that shade in the Soap Does Nails and Revolution collaboration. And I, I, again, another product that I've been using for ages, I really like this highlighter palette. It's it's not like a glittery highlight, like I really don't like a glittery highlight. This is more of a, this is more of a glowy highlight, which is obviously what I prefer. And then the last thing I do, oh actually that's not true. I then do mascara and then I've been really liking lip gloss lately. So I'll probably just put on like a clear lip gloss um, because I have actually got a bit of foundation on my lips by accident. So the mascara I swear by is the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. 
Um, I absolutely love this. It is expensive, but it's definitely worth the money. Like it's literally the best mascara I've ever tried. Um, and this video has just accidentally been a favorites video, but I just really like the products that I've been using lately. And I do use the trick where you like wiggle at the base and then like bring it out because I find that really does make a difference. Okay, so that is just two coats of the mascara and I really think it makes such a difference. Um, and then lastly, I go in with the Pixie, don't know what it's called, it's just a clear lip gloss, just the Pixie clear lip gloss. And this actually has mint in it because um, I can taste it and I think it's mainly to try and plump your lips. Okay, so that's the finished look. This is my current like glowy makeup routine. This is just what I do like day to day. Um, I obviously haven't really been wearing makeup that often at the minute just because i'm not really going out the house so i don't really see a need to um but yeah that's what i would normally do if i was to leave the house so yeah that is it for today's video hopefully you did enjoy also i did do my own fake nails in a previous video so i'll have that up there is that the right side i can never remember like in a little box that comes up i will link it um but yeah hopefully i'll see you in the next one bye